Welcome to episode 6 of the We Guard Cleveland podcast with me, your host, Casey Howard. In today's video, we're going to go of over two roster moves that have happened in the past two days, and we're going to go over the players and um, how it affects them and why this has happened. Um, so the main one that you've probably heard about already is the Cleveland Guardians sent James Karinchak down to AAA and brought up Tim Heron for um, yesterday's game. However, for today's game, they activated Cody Morris from the 60-day IL and sent Tim Heron back down to AAA and DFA'd Richie Palacios. So those are the roster moves we're going to be covering today. But first, we're going to go over James Karinchak. Who, uh, I really like James Karinchak as a player. He's one of my favorite players. Uh, I met him at Guards Fest. He, um, he signed this for me. I'm not sure if you can see it too well. But he wrote, these are a bunch of players that have signed it. He is one of them. Um, he signed it right here where my finger is. Where That's a J-K. Um, and he was really nice. So I really like James Karinchak. Uh. When uh, Tito was interviewed about it, he said that uh, he kind of hinted that Karen Jack was really unhappy when they sent him down to AAA. Um, he sounded like, by Tito's comments, that he threw a little fit. But that is expected when players get DFA'd or sent to AAA. And he said he'll probably be down there for a couple weeks. They just want him to get his accuracy better. And that's why they said they did this, because he had 38 strikeouts and 19 walks. And that is not good. You should definitely have more, less walks, really. Because he has a good amount of strikeouts, but he has like half the walks as he has strikeouts. So that means for every two strikeouts, he'd have one walk. But you may be like, why do they do this? Because... He has a 3.90 ERA, which is better than most people's top relief pitchers. Um, But he also has a two wins and four losses. And he has given up a lot of home runs. Um, He has given up more home runs than many other relief pitchers. So I think control is his main issue. And I think the reason he's walking so many batters and the control is an issue is because of his five-step motion, and he can't use it this year because of the pitch clock. Um, we went over this um, many times uh, so far uh, this year on this podcast, his routine and what it was, and now it can't be. So now you just have to get the signal from the catcher, take a deep breath, and pitch. So Karen Shack usually would get the rosin bag and rub the rosin on his hands. Then he would toss the ball up in the air a few times. Um, then he would rub his hand through his hair. Um, and finally, he would get the signal from the catcher, set the pitch, take a deep breath, and then pitch, which took takes quite a while. And now he only has 15 seconds, so he had to, he cannot do no longer do that routine. And that's one of the problems with James Karinchak. Um, I really think he is a good player, though. I think a couple weeks in AAA may help him, though. I agree with that. But I really think the Guardians will miss him on the big league club, and I think he will be back shortly. So next, I'm going to go over... The Guardians activated Cody Morris. So, another thing I wasn't sure if I was going to do a full video on is how what will Cody Morris's role be when he gets back with the Guardians. Last year, he was used as a starter for parts of the year and also used as a multi-middle relief guy. Um, also, he can really be used in multiple roles. So, Tito said the Guardians aren't sure exactly how they will use him but we don't I don't he definitely won't be a starting pitcher 
in the bullpen, I don't think he'll be a long relief pitcher because I feel like that's Xavier and Curry's role, and he plays really good at it. And I feel like in the... I feel like they might try to develop him into being like a setup man or a middle relief pitcher. Um, even though he was a good starter, but he's too valuable to trade because um, we could use him and we need like setup man help right now. So, yeah. I think he they should make him a setup man. It might take time, though, as you guys know. They also DFA'd Richie Palacios. Um, I'm not a fan of this move. I really like Richie Palacios. I was upset when he did not make our opening day roster. Um, he's a great player. Um, he's really good in clutch situations. I know his stats aren't good, but, like, as far as, like, hits. But he gets hits in the clutch, and that's really important. Um, he reminds me a lot of, um... A player I know who's really good at getting clutch hits. Um, but his average isn't super high. So that's why I really like Richie Palacios. And I think he's very valuable. So um, I wish you luck, Richie. Um, I hope you sign with a team that will play you in the MLB. And you have a great career. Hopefully, eventually, he'll come back to Cleveland. Okay, so that was... Um, our uh, podcast and our podcasts are usually longer but um i just thought that you guys would want to hear this uh the guardians are playing the astros right now as i post this um i think the score is two to nothing right now um but for now casey is out